Speaking of Scott Walker, as you know, Scott Walker uh, dropped out of uh, college. There is some sort of like mystery around it. Nobody's quite sure why. But, uh, and you know it's slightly a liability. I mean, like, I don't think in the main, in this country, frankly, to be a college dropout is going to hurt Scott Walker uh, in and of itself, right? Because you don't want to come off as an elitist, and, you know, uh, I, I don't think there's, you know, all the more power to you if you've been able to self-educate yourself in some way. But I do think that there are questions about it. And here's why I think that. I mean, there's been some stories where nobody really understands why he dropped out. It's not clear. It wasn't like a money thing, apparently. It wasn't like he was, nobody's quite clear. Like, like it sounds like something happened, but nobody's sure. But here's what makes me think something happened. Because Rush Limbaugh is already out there flacking for him about it. And the way that Rush Limbaugh flacks for him about it by making it a joke and by taking it into like sort of a really extreme place, it really does make me believe that there's actually a story here. Because Limbaugh's already starting to try and muddy the waters. Now, listen to the way that Limbaugh does it. But uh, this is, I think there's more to this story than just Limbaugh trying to be offensive and funny. You know, if I were Scott Walker, you know what I would say about college i mean I, he won't do this because he's a real candidate but i would mr limbo it's been learned here you seek the presidency and you think you're eminently qualified but we're looking at your past and we see here that you Pause quit and i don't know what the the pencil neck geek he's doing here sort of somewhat britishy but um, maybe he knows it's only the brits that ask these tough mm, questions i don't know continue the University of Southeast Missouri in your second semester of your freshman year after refusing to take ballroom dance taught by a lesbian drill sergeant in the wax. That happens to be true. What in the world are you thinking, Mr. Limbaugh? Hold Why on, would you it. ignore and... Stop it. So Rush Limbaugh quit college because he didn't want a lesbian drill sergeant to teach him ballroom dance. Hmm. Interesting. Continue. I don't know what else to say about it. Go ahead. Quit college if you had grandiose designs to become the president. Our answer would be, I left college because I didn't want to be accused of rape someday. Now, he can't say that, of course, but, I mean, that's the guy. You just ram it right down there. So they try to create this rape culture on the campus. Well, I quit because, you know, I don't want to be accused of rape down the road. And it seems like any man that goes to college could randomly be accused of committing rape. And whether the story is true or not doesn't matter. The people who write the story guess, well, I may not have gotten it right here, but we know it happens. So I wanted to remove myself from this culture that might have turned me into a very mean guy. And just see what they say. Well, we claim, you know, my, my cram what they believe, what they claim to be right down their throats. So here we have, this is sort of like the uh, omnibus uh, uh, limbaugh here, right? Because it, it always, it ends with the cram it right down their throats. We've talked about the cramming down there. But what's interesting is here, A, I would believe that limbaugh uh, left college because he didn't want to be accused of rape. But I also do think that, like, Limbaugh is very smart. Limbaugh definitely talks to people who are involved in all of the presidential campaigns. There's no doubt in my mind. It would be political malfeasance to uh, beyond imagining that there aren't staffers in, in contact with Limbaugh. I know this just from my experience just at Air America. We hear from politician staffers. I can't help but think when I hear this that there is actually something beyond Scott Walker just waking up one day. And, and apparently, and there's been plenty of stories about this, in college, he did tell people like he wanted to be the president of the United States. And I got no 
problem with someone having ambition like that. Good for him to have gotten this far with that type of, uh, you know, that type of direction. But, you know, if you're a guy who's sensitive to that thing, it wouldn't occur to you like, I should drop out of college. you got to have a reason. And I don't think it's like, I can't wait to get out into the world. I can't wait these three years. I think there is actually something that there's an awareness out there somewhere in these Republican circles that there is a reason why he left college that could very well be problematic. And that's why you hear Limbaugh now saying stuff like this. Right? Because if you just put it out there that it's like a joke, that's the way, that is basically what you do with these narratives. You want a narrative not to hold, you just put out a bunch of like joke narratives and counter narratives. And that's, I mean, that's maybe I'm just being a little bit uh, conspiratorial, but um, I'm quite aware of what uh, Limbaugh's job is. And I think he's doing, I think he's doing some double duty here.